Hi, I'm Ray Tanzen, Product Manager here at Personas. In this video, we're going to show you how gain compensation works. This is a feature that we have on our NSB stage boxes that allows you to use two different mixers in a shared gain scenario. So the way gain compensation works is one mixer is going to have a non-gain compensated stream, and then the other mixers on the network will listen to the gain compensated stream. And essentially what that's going to do is the gain compensated stream is going to make adjustments in the gain based off of the preamp level changes made uh, by the non-gain compensated mixer so the, that the gain structure of the other mixers doesn't change. So I'll explain a little bit more as we go along, but let's first take a look at how this setup and works on the mixers. So on a console mixer, first you'll want to make sure you're setting up the stage box. And so when you set up the stage box, uh, you have this preamp permissions here. And so you can choose to give any single console uh, or rack mixer on the network uh, permission to control the preamp. Now, in addition to that, in our AVB inputs, you can listen to the non-gain compensated stream or the gain compensated stream. So in this case, let's go ahead and listen to the gain compensated stream, just so I can show you how that looks. So with the gain compensated stream, uh, I'm not going to have the button to turn gain compensation on and off. That is only reserved for the mixer that has control of the preamps and the mixer that is uh, listening to the non-gain compensated stream. Um, instead, what I'm going to have is just a digital gain. And this will allow me uh, plus or minus 20 dB of digital uh, gain or, or trim. Uh, on that incoming channel. So no matter what the preamp is set to, uh, that channel that I'm listening to off the stage box, I can still do a little bit of local tweaking uh, to the level to make sure it's where I'm comfortable at. But I'm not going to have permission to actually control the preamp level itself. Um, so now let's go in and change it to the non-gain compensated stream, and I'll show you how that would work. So now that I have the, the non-gain compensated stream, you'll see I've got the preamp control as well as a gain compensation button. And so the way this works is first I'm going to set the preamp level. And once I've got a good level, I'm going to engage the gain compensation button. So once the gain compensation button is engaged, that is going to tell uh, the gain compensated stream that it is now ready to make uh, automatic adjustments to the gain level based off the preamp changes. So right now I'm at a preamp level of 27 um, and uh, all of the streams coming off of the stage box are all at the same level right now. Now at front of house let's say that I've got permission for the preamp control at front of house and the lead singer um, starts getting a little loud and I'm getting a little nervous about my levels and I don't want to clip the preamp. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to turn down that preamp level a little bit. So I'm going to go from 27 uh, dB to 23 dB. Now, when I did that, the gain compensated streams are now turning up a digital level inside the stage box to, by the same amount. So I went from 27 down to 23. So I turned down 4 dB and that gain compensated stream is going to turn itself up 4 dB. And what this does is it allows all of the other mixers that are listening to the gain compensated stream to maintain their gain structure. So they're not going to suddenly have a uh, channel to get turned down, which is great because if you've got a lead singer in that example I just used and monitor mixer all of a sudden has the lead singer's channel turned down, you know, you're going to have stuff thrown at you from stage and we don't want that. So that's how you can use the gain compensation in a shared gain environment. It's that easy to use. Really just set up the preamp permissions. Make sure each mixer is subscribed to the appropriate stream, whether that's the gain compensated or the non-gain compensated. And then when you're setting your preamp levels, you can turn that gain compensation on once you're at a comfortable range. And that's how gain compensation works. We have a wonderful guide and addendum uh, that explains it even further and gives some good use case examples uh, in our stage box manual as well as the addendums for the Studio Live Series 3 manuals. Uh, also, be sure to check out our stage box uh, setup overview if you haven't uh, to get some more info on how to set up all of the streams uh, on the stage boxes with your Studio Live Series 3 mixer. Thanks for watching.